only a couple of weeks ago at the FBU conference with Moira and others in which the firefighters discussed exactly what happened that day. And one of the most moving speeches was from the representative of the controllers. The controllers who had to pick up that telephone and listen to people pleading for help as the fire went on. And the speaker broke down, well most of us broke down when we listened to that. And if nothing else, it's committed us all, hasn't it? Never again. Never again will we allow this to happen. But what has been so despicable about this is that this has happened in the richest borough, in the fifth richest country in the world, where we have a government and a local council more interested in saving money than saving lives. That's unacceptable in any supposed civilized society. But let's make it clear. We want, we don't just want truth from the inquiry, we want justice. And justice means holding to account those who through their actions were responsible for the 72 deaths. Unless we get that justice, make it clear, yes, as we've said in that slogan, no justice, no peace. We want justice and truth from this inquiry. But if, there's, if there's anything we can do in terms of the Labour Party, let's make it absolutely clear. We will stand up against austerity when we go into government. We will end it. We've lost 11,000 firefighters from the front line over the last eight years. Inspections now, 25%, that's all. We've now had a 40% cut in the number of inspectors. No wonder these crises occur when you cut the frontline workers and you end the inspections. But above all else, you know why this was caused. Because of the crisis in housing in this country and particularly in this capital city. 5,000 people living on our streets. One and a half million nearly on housing waiting lists. It is a scandal. So when we go into, into power, let me give this commitment to all those Grenfell families that have lost and suffered so much. We'll ensure that we have a fire service to be proud of that prevents fires like this and are capable of dealing with the saving of life that we need. But above all else, we will house people. We've said we'll build a million new homes and half of them Half of them will be proud to call council homes again. We'll be proud to house people. And I tell you, when they asked me as the Shadow Chancellor, how are we going to afford it? Well, the corporations and the rich are going to pay their taxes for a change. So, so the memorial to the 72 will be the generation after generation that come, that will live in safety, but will be housed decently in our capital city. And I pay tribute to the campaign. I pay tribute to the courage that they've shown, despite everything thrown at them. Yes, including smears within our media. Everything that has been thrown against them, with courage they've stood firm. Well, let me say this. We're here in solidarity, and that solidarity will stay with them until we get truth and justice. Solidarity.